Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a brand new perfume to review, which is the new um, perfume from Valentino, Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, first impressions, and how it compares to the other two in the range, Yellow Dream and the original Born in Roma. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes here. I have hundreds and hundreds of review videos just like this. I review all the new releases, and I do have um, an old detailed video on the difference between Born in Roma and Yellow Dream, the two previous releases. So I'll leave that link down below, along with my article on my website, which goes through the differences between the three as well. If you are a regular, do check to see if you're subscribed and hit the like button. I really appreciate your support. You can also sign up to my newsletter in the link down below, and you can also get my merch in the link down below as well. I'll also leave the link to my new Aristocrats t-shirt as well, because I love it. Cool, so I was, very excited to see this um, new release appear. I know that the original Born in Roma has been pretty successful, lots of people really like it, and I tend to like things that have like a coral color, a coral name. I like the um, Bulgari Omnia coral. So I was really excited to try this. It comes in this coral colored um, packaging and then the lipstick, the, the lipstick. The liquid has a orangey coral tint to it as well. Last year's um, release, Yellow Dream, was in a really fluorescent yellow packaging and then the original is like a black um, with pink highlights as well. So the original Donna Born in Roma is a really good for lasting eau de parfum with some really fruity notes in black currant and um, bourbon vanilla, plenty of jasmine, which really helps it last as well. So it's quite sexy. It could be worn though daytime and nighttime, I think. And it's kind of reliable that it's going to be fun, fruity, but still have those like more serious undertones. So it's definitely one for fans of fruity fragrances that have that floral vanilla undertone, kind of like Armani C Eau de Parfum. The Yellow Dream, which then came after it, is completely different to the original. This is a citrus lemon, as you'd expect from the coloring. And then there's a muskiness underneath, um, but really it's just like a lemon scent. I found it very light, not great for lasting, and really quite boring. And even though it said, you know, it says it's an Eau de Parfum, I didn't find it had that lasting power at all that I would expect from an Eau de Parfum. Fan. So I was a bit disappointed in this considering the original is good for lasting, good for projection and had a bit more like about it, lots of different notes. So then we come to our new coral fantasy version of Born in Roma. So this definitely has more going on than Yellow Dream, but it's not as heavy or sweet as the original Born in Roma. For me, it's definitely a spring summer scent, hence why it's been released now in the spring, I guess. So this has quite a lot of an unusual note in it, which is kiwi. There are not many fragrances that use kiwi. I know the original Britney Spears fantasy used is kiwi along with loads of sweet vanilla notes and that's part of what makes that so unique and still selling well today 20 years later. So when you first spray it you'd get lots of that fruity kiwi and also an orange note as well. It felt really fruity when I first sprayed it which made me think of you know summertime. Then I started to get a little bit of the jasmine which is in here. There's a hint of rose and there's a hint of ombre um, musk mellow, which is quite a warm, sensual type note, which is the main note in a lot of the more recent Ariana Grande perfumes like Cloud. You've then got a bit of musk and a bit of cedar in the base. But for me, what really like lasts here is the kiwi note and the jasmine and some of that musk mellow. So it's a fresh fruity floral, but it's not fruity in the way that the original is. I wouldn't say that this was an evening scent. I definitely only wear this during the day, but I have to say that it is an Eau de Parfum and it is performing better than a lot of these light summer perfumes. It does perform like an Eau de Parfum, not an Eau de Toilette, but the notes are really quite light. So it's not 
super projection. I think it's more the kind of thing that after a while you can only really smell on yourself. I do think it would work well being layered with the original. Perhaps you want to add a more summery, light-hearted feel to the original for the summertime. This could like mix well with it and add that kiwi note and just make it a bit fresher and fruitier. So it is a pretty smell. I like it. It's unusual that jasmine and kiwi combo is not something I've really seen before. So I like that, that it's different, that they've put that thought and effort in. I like the packaging and everything. I think it's a relatively safe blind buy as well. Um, if you know you like that type of fragrance. I also think it's a good gift. It'd be quite hard to dislike this. So with Mother's Day coming up, birthdays, I think this is a pretty good gift, you know, probably for any age. So I guess the packaging and everything is quite edgy with all the Valentino spikes on. So maybe it's not really like a grandma gift, but for friends, relatives, yeah, I think it'd be difficult for anyone to dislike that. And um, whereas the original Born in Roma has that heaviness and sweetness that some people might not like. So it's definitely the best in terms of gifting from the three. I still think the original is the best because of the projection and the lasting power, but I think I rank this second and I do think it is Soki approved because it is interesting and it does have some body to it. Considering it's a light spring summer fragrance, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, but the yellow one, Dream, Yellow Dreams, is not so key approved. So guys, let me know, have you tried this yet? What do you think of it? Are you disappointed? Are you loving it? Let me know what you think and how it lasted on you in the comments. I do read all your comments. And like I said, I'll leave the links to where you can buy this as well as my article on the range down below in the description box. I'll put links to where you can buy it, um, UK, Europe, North America, Australia, and as and when it becomes available. Cool, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.